Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I have this Nissan Navara. This switch device is for power folding mirrors. You can adjust the mirrors from the cabin. Just only select the mirror and move up, down, left, right and the mirrors will change. This device have malfunction. It is not working. So let's open it. To open it, it have four locks, plastic locks. One, two, three and four. We have to remove these locks very carefully. Take a sharp knife and enter between the yellow and black plastic. Lift it up or you can use a sharp screwdriver, sharp blade screwdriver. Insert it here and take a piece of some card and enter between this lock so that the lock should not engage again now from the second lock insert screwdriver beside the lock lock is here we have to enter some left or right side and enter this card between the lock the same process here now we unlocked the four catches one two three and four using this sharp screwdriver here is a slight small opening between the yellow and black plastic put it here and rotate slightly now move to this direction Now this terminal board is here. Now we can check it easily. Here is a switch. That is the right or left selector. Two contacts. And these contacts make here on the board. If it is in one position, in that condition, this first switch this switch and this switch makes and at the same time this and this will make when it will come in center position so this switch will come to this insulated area and this switch will come to an insulated area when we will move it forward this point and this point and here we have these two points these will make output of these switches will move to right or left mirrors now we have to check where is the problem? If you look physically in in the board, in the top side, it is okay. If we check continuity, this point, the large point reaches at these two switches. Here and here. And this one will reach here. It's okay. So we have to verify because underside of this board there are very thin tracks they are working like a fuse we have to inspect them if you don't have automatic soldering station you can use manual sucker to remove these uh, joints Or you can use desoldering wick to unsolder the joints. So it will suck all the solder. Just only heat up and pull this cable. The contact is clear. We can see there is no solder on the joints. Check these pins, are they free? Yeah, these are free. Just only slightly lift it up with screwdriver. Don't apply too much force, otherwise the print or eyelets may damage. Now,
yes we can see here we have this small track it is burn out and this track burn out so we have to resolder these points and these are these small tiny tracks are working as a fuse link if we check there is no continuity between these two points and from this point to this point there is no continuity because it is disconnected from here this disconnection and this dis disconnection so we have to make a jumper between this point and this point so here I will use one ampere fuse wire bus fuse wire first of all apply soldering flux good soldering wire and we have to make thinning or you can use a very fine and thin wire with the low ampere rating now we can check it yes it's okay and this continuity is okay from this point to this point now it's okay so these two tracks this track and this track I installed one ampere bus fuse wire so that it is safe or you can use any thin wire with low ampere rating never collect a thick wire so that for safety just only use a fusible wire that is good clean it So that the oxide, carbon and flux should be removed. Now it's okay. We have to clean the contacts. Use contact cleaner. So our this board has been repaired successfully. The routine fault in this board, the routine failure in this board is just only this fusible link. If you can remove, repair it easily. So friends, I hope so this video is informative. This video is good for you. Hit the like button and if you want to watch my videos in future, you can press, you can press subscribe button and you can press bell icon button for my upcoming videos. Resolder the points use a temperature controlled soldering iron so that the PCB should not damage always use flex field solder now let's fix it we have contact set set inside these contacts inspected these are good now when we want to install 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 in this way it have two corners this end is blank every contact should place on the contact set see 
see this contact pole it have cut close to this side so this side should come to near this wall so we have to place it in this way check it it should move with three positions without any restriction so it's okay now bring this terminal board this PCB here and by putting it equal press it so it is locked from all directions just only place this switch correctly so it is good now our this board our this switch terminal is repaired successfully thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh